Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today is a vanity project. My 133 favorite artists. Why? Why 133? That's just where it landed. I, I got that group and I'm like, okay, that's it. These are the people I care about. And if you want to see the criteria, look down in the comments below. And I've got a description of what my criteria is. And I'll let you know if I own any physical copies or if I've seen the band in concert. So number 130. And this is a good one. Okay, I really like this band. I can't believe they're so low on the list but uh yeah you know i i mentioned um in the first video that i don't have a lot of metal on my list uh, in fact i don't have any but that doesn't mean i don't like hard music this is really harsh music talking about a band from berlin that's been around for 44 years now the industrial noise rock, post-industrial, experimental rock band, Ein Sturzende Neubauten, and absolutely my favorite industrial band. So I've never had the privilege to see them in concert, but I have a friend who saw them, and he just raved about them. And there's also a great live performance you can watch on YouTube where they're playing in a former German SS building. And at one point in the concert, they go up to the balcony with their mallets and their custom instruments, and they play a percussion improv on the balcony. And it's really moving because this building was for evil purposes, and now the building itself is a musical instrument. So really cool. They use a lot of custom instruments, uh, mallet, sheet metal, uh, metal plates, 55-gallon uh, drums, all sorts of uh, various kinds of instruments from uh, fabrication and manufacturing. So I like that. You know, they're similar to the birthday party. In fact, Blixa Bargeld, the singer, also was in the birthday party. And I don't know why, but the birthday party just really sounds harsh to my ears. And this band is just as harsh and just as metallic, but for whatever reason, they speak to me. So I do own some of their albums, so I wanted to show those to you. They're all on CD. We'll try to get these out of the light here. The first one is, um, it's called uh, Zeichnungen Patienten Ote. So it's... Uh, really cool it means drawings of patients and it's got some medical themes and it's really kind of horrific <laughs> i also own uh what was originally released on roar r-o-i-r -R records this is two by four kind of a live material and demos kind of just a mishmash i used to own this on Cassette. Roar was a cassette-only label, and you had to mail order, and I had ordered two by four. I've since replaced it with a CD. Then I have their first two uh, anthologies, sort of. They're, they're hits and rarities, and they've got three volumes, and I've got the first two volumes. So this one is uh, Strategies in Architecture 1. So this is really cool. And that's their little logo, their little man logo man logo on there, the little character. This is a single disc. And then they came out with Strategies in Architecture 2, which is a double CD, if I can get that where you can see that. that. That is so hard to see. There we go. Anyway, this is a double CD. And this is just awesome stuff. So. Love them. Wish I had seen them in concert. Uh, probably one of the better live bands that you'll ever see because it's just so, so physical. Such a physical performance with their instruments. Yeah, one of the few people I've not seen in concert that I really wish I had. So that's it. Video's long enough. Let me know what you think. Uh, 
hit that like or subscribe button. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.